Now on small streams, I like to use the Stalker Legend, one of the lightest fly rods in the world today. It's made using Mitsubishi and Torre graphite, so it's extremely light and extremely crisp. So its bounce back is incredible. So if we're trying to get underneath trees or right next to logs, its accuracy is pinpoint. Very, on the short cast, it's uh, very responsive. But if you want to throw a big long line, even though that's only a three weight, it's got the power through the butt section to be able to do it. You might come across a big fish in a small stream as well. This is also going to be able to steer it around, but give you a lot of enjoyment on the smaller fish you're going to come across. So if you get a chance, have a look at the Stalker Legend. It's a rod you're going to love. I'll do. That's there we go. Nice little fish just on the uh, the top of this pool, and I'd realistically expected to catch uh, about half a dozen by the time we got here. But nice little rainbow again. We don't need the net. On this one in here, they're pretty, pretty docile once it's uh, cooled off a bit. And just a nice little rainbow, just, you can always tell that right big red sash along there on a rainbow. And uh, as we always said, they're a little bit more energetic and less cautious. And a lot of fun to catch on the fly as well. So, uh, yeah, good little fish. It's all about the cast, the take and the hookup. It's perfect. And that's what you're sort of expecting too. On a good little pool like that, it's a good bit of depth. That'll be, you know, four or five feet deep there. So it can hold a, a good number of fish. And uh, it's interesting we're catching just rainbows here. Normally there's a really good mixture of both. Um, but as we're like sort of halfway through May, we're getting into the spawning time. And browns will spawn before rainbows. So um, the, the browns may well have gone way upstream and thinking about other things. So it just leaves these... Uh, rainbows down here do uh, do all the eating so uh, fair enough too Got a nice little pool yeah beautiful oh, oh. and that's um that, that's a reasonable fish, that if I can, yep. Oh, he's a rainbow, he's, oh, he's a pound or so. But uh, I could just see him in there, splashing about a bit. And uh, that's when these makos are worth their weight in gold. He's a nice fish, and he loved that uh, stimulator. I might just see if I can net him. Oh. In a second. Here we go. How's this working out? There's a little bit of timber in here. And uh, yeah, this might be difficult because he's right down. And we're going to manage that. That's a macrame set. And he's back down in that pool. Just going to have to let that go and grab it. 
as it comes through. And I don't even know whether he's still attached, but we'll see. Who said macrame was never a good thing to learn at school? He was a good little fish too. We don't even really care if he's still on or not, but it's good fun to even get a take and give us a little bit of grief. And he is wrapped the line a little bit around there, which is a little bit of a danger. Lucky I know the owner of this. And it does have a lifetime guarantee, which is lucky, because that can cause you a bit of grief. Now we can fight him properly. That makes it pretty exciting. And a little rib like this, I mean, he's not massive, but on a light little rod, this is exactly why we made this fly. Seven foot six in a two weight. So you can fight one of these like it's a 10 pounder. And with that cord still attached to your net, you don't lose it. Now I'll just slip down here and get this net under him. And uh, there, that's beautiful. I mean, that's, I mean, he's not massive. He's probably literally a pound and a half. Then the, the cleans net, it's a lie detector. Oh, he's 10 pound. Oh, there you go. Just a bit over a pound, pound and a quarter. But that's why you go fly fishing. To, to see it, a good set of Mako glasses where you can see into the water and uh, you can see him swimming about that good cast. And once he takes it and you hook up, that's fun. That's fun. And when he gives you a bit of grief for all that timber, that's, that's fun too. That's why I fly, fly fish and I reckon once you get into it, if you're not into it already, that's why you should do it because you have an awful lot of fun doing it. In an environment like this, it's just amazing. So you just got to get out there and uh, and have a go. That's a beautiful fish. Rainbow, and rainbows tend to give you a little bit more grief too with the, uh, the way they fight. And he certainly did. It was quite novel there, un uh, unpacking it all, or un undoing it all through those bogs and stuff like that. And he certainly loved that, uh, that stimulator. I mean, he's still got plenty of power. Rainbows are like that. I go pretty hard. It's just a beautiful fish. Like in a little river like that, with a light little rod, little two weight, that's an awful lot of fun. And uh, that's a great way to spend an afternoon, you know, catching fish like that. And uh, to put him back as well, I think it's probably one of the most important things. In a little river like this, it's virtually self-sustaining. You know, nobody's stocking it. These things have got to look after themselves. And as we always say, up current, a bit of oxygen, and he'll be good to go in a minute. You want him to swim out of your hands. Uh, and that's what it's all about. You put him back, and then somebody else can come and catch him too and get the same enjoyment that I've had. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode just on the streams of northeastern Victoria. They're an outstanding fishery on their own right. You get the right gear to suit, and you're going to have a lot more fun as well. So, um, they're pretty close to Melbourne too. You don't have to travel too far. Uh, and it's just amazing fishery. You can catch a lot of fish, and even if you don't, you can have a ball doing it. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of On The Fly.